All right, how does an pro investment property reduce your tax? Let's say we own the property up here on the top right of the, of the slide. Worth 500000 It's got a $450,000 loan on it at a 5% interest rate. It's renting for five hundred a week or 26000 per year. On the left-hand side, we have the Australian tax brackets. And you can see there the first bracket is 18200 the second 37, 87, 180, and you can see the percentages. Now, let's say we have a job where we earn 100 grand a year. Now, our employer pays tax on our behalf on the assumption that we're only going to earn 100 grand a year. So some money's been paid to the tax office for that. However, when we have an investment property, the rent we get from a property is actually added to our taxable income. So at this point in time, we actually haven't paid enough tax. So unless we make some claims against it, we're going to have a tax bill, not a tax return. But of course, we've got plenty of things we can claim. We can claim the loan interest. We can claim the rates. We can claim rental management fees and insurance. Now, all of these things are what we call cash deductions, which means money has to physically leave our bank account in return for getting a third of it back or 37% back in this case. But there's one thing that really makes all the difference to property investing and to making sure your properties pay for themselves, and it's a little magic thing called depreciation. Now, depreciation is what we call a non-cash deduction or an on-paper deduction. What does it actually mean? Well, the building you are sitting in now is theoretically going down in value. The carpets are going down in value. The curtains are going down in value. Um, different parts of it are going down in value. But of course, in real life, it's not. In real life, that property is going up in value or staying the same, rarely going down in value. But the government allows us to write off the depreciating value of the building. Now, the magic here is that we get to claim this money on tax without actually spending any money from our bank account. This, in turn, drives our on-paper assessment right down into the red. But in real terms, the cash in and out of our account is not in the red at all. So let's analyse what we've got here. So our taxable income went up to 126 and then came down to 83,000. But we paid tax on 100,000. Therefore, we now are entitled to a tax return. If we pay tax on 100,000, but our revised taxable income is 83,000, then $16,450 of income we paid tax on that we shouldn't have. So we should get that back. The refund would therefore be the first 13,000 would be at 37%, and the balance of that money would be at 32.5% because where it crosses the line on the 87 grand threshold. So we would get a tax return against that property for $5,931 in theory. Now, that makes a massive, massive difference. If we're getting back over $5,000 on a property for depreciation, then that's about $100 a week. And if we're getting an extra $100 a week back from our property, on top of a $500 per week rent, well, that depreciation is making a 20% increase in, in the total return that that property gets back. And this can be the difference between a successfully positive cash flow property and a negative cash flow property. Now, ask yourself this question. How many properties can you own that have to put $100 a week or more of your own money into? Now, ask yourself this question. How many properties of yours can you own if you don't have to put any money into them at all. So smart property investors only buy properties that pay for themselves. And the best way to get a property to pay for itself is to have this massive depreciation occurring. A lot of people go out and buy old properties that have no depreciation. It's a mistake. If you want to be a successful property investor, you need to buy those properties that have high depreciation in the early stages so that you can cover the rent and you can have positive cash flow. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that. If you think someone else could benefit from that, make sure you share it with them. We'd really be grateful if you did that. And if you wanna get into property investing, if you're serious about it, just send us a message. Let's have a strategy session, let's go through it. We have clients all over Australia, in fact, all over the world. And we talk to our clients either in person or via Skype, really easy to do. So don't hesitate, get in there. It's only $297 for a strategy session and it's 100% guaranteed refundable if at the end of it you didn't feel it was worth your while. Cheers.